everybody, this is Praxis, and both the east and the west walls are all completely ready to accept rafters, and all the rafters are notched and ready to go up. Uh, my dad is going to be by tomorrow. He, uh, he's bringing some lumber. Apparently, there's uh, news of some lumber shortages coming up, so he's grabbing some lumber to do uh, the what are called purlins, which are the, the boards that are going to attach all these rafters together, kind of like bind them all together. Uh, he's going to grab that stuff, bring it tomorrow, we're going to be throwing up the rafters. They should, I, I said this before, but they should go up pretty quick because everything's done. All that's left to do is actually put them up. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, right now, I'm getting ready to kind of rigidify these south walls. I'm boxing them. There's going to be a window here. Again, mirror image on the other side. Uh, window here, window there. Uh, and I'm boxing them in before I start doing more diagonal boards up this wall to just kind of rigidify this before we start getting everything up there. Also, uh, news about the radon. As I mentioned the other day, we do have a radon situation in the house, and it is caused... Um, most, if not all, by this gravel that was brought in by the contractors to help us with potential radon issues in the future. It's an irony that is not at all lost on me that the uh, solution to radon became the cause of the problem for us. There really should be regulation about that, that you're not allowed to dump radon uh, contaminated materials under people's houses. It seems like it would go without saying, but, you know, I, I guess that's it's higher level thinking. You know, people are focusing on the heights of steps and whether your countertop is permeable or not. They're not uh, considering whether or not people are dumping radon under uh, people's houses. I guess it's good for the radon mitigation industry. But I'm not going to be hiring them. I got uh, all the materials myself, the radon fan, uh, you know, there's some other things. I'll, I'll show you guys how that all goes together. But I was really racking my brain about how to hook up the radon stuff. The, the bulk of the gravel, and again, I'm going on the presumption, it seems to be uh, you know, reasonable that the majority of the problem is coming from the gravel that was delivered. Most of the gravel is in the front section of the house, and the entire front section of the house is covered in those tunnels. I can't just drill through our tunnels to get down at the gravel to pump the radon out. And I was thinking, like, what am I going to do? You know, I can do it in the back by the utility room, but then I'm not going to have the best access to the gravel. There may be the hole that the plumbers didn't fill in underneath the tub. If I do uh, the, the vent anywhere near there, I'm just grabbing air from that hole and sucking it up. It wouldn't really clear the whole place out, but I have the solution. It's going to happen on the other side, uh, but what I'm going to do, uh, if you guys recall, there is a, uh, on the other side, there's a vent that brings outside air from the greenhouse down under the, uh, under the um, slab, underneath the tunnels, through the infected uh, radon area, and it brings uh, outside air to the uh, wood stove. I was, now I was thinking to myself, now I wonder if I could get into that tunnel and somehow, you know, pull air from around that. And then I, it just dawned on me, just make another hole. What I'm going to do on the other side is we're going to dig down to where we're at the depth below our tunnels and make a hole through the foundation. That'll give us access to the gravel. We're going to uh, do it as deep as we can. And we're going to uh, grab the air from out here and make a uh, four inch um, pipe that will pull the air from here, underground, to the other side, go up over there, uh, the uh, suction fan will be up in the corner there, and that way it's going to be out of the way, it's going to grab from the source, it'll do it on the other side, so the fact that we have the potential leak, I think the, the, the plumbers probably screwed that up, that we have the potential leak under the uh, tub will actually be an asset because it'll uh, air will go in there and it'll flush through the entire system because they're at opposite corners uh, and it'll be able to dump the stuff uh, out away from windows and that should work really well. I'm happy about that. It's god-awful stupid that they dumped radon contaminated stuff in order to prevent radon uh, in the house, but I, I think there's a pretty good solution that only requires uh, you know one hole to be cut and then the rest which well is $200 for the uh, other materials. And again, you'll see me put that together. That's it. Thanks for watching.